We're serving you the tastiest TV tidbits on Popstar this week. Television's biggest cast feuds and TV series with majorly iconic style. Most memorable character exits and shows that have been uncanceled. Popstar This Week starts now. Hey guys, welcome to Popstar This Week. I'm your host, Elizabeth Stanton, bringing you what's hot and what's not here at Popstar. And I'm here with my friends, Jabrizi. Hey, what's up? Yeah. How you doing? Gavin Werkheiser. Yeah. Woo! Noah Matthews. Hey! Oh, what? Here's you Hi! And Neil Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Now, time for the good stuff. Let's jump in. Polly Perrette has left NCIS after 15 seasons, missed rumors that she and Mark Harmon are not on good terms. All we know is cast feeds can definitely be a reason for someone to leave a show. Shannon Doherty on 90210 and Charm, for example. It can't be easy to work together when there's major beef, right? Cast feeds are definitely a reason for people to leave a show. You, you work long hours. I mean, if you're not getting along, if it's really yeah. a yeah. toxic environment, you got uh, to go. Yep, you got, you to got go. beef. Yeah. Uh, it was Who's like, the easiest one to cut? You looked right at Sheridan when you said Yeah, that. I was oh. gonna say, it was yeah, hard in the really beginning. Yeah, when, it, attacked right when now. it's toxic, you got to go. Cast feuds are an unfortunate reality that plague a lot of shows over the years, like Leah Michelle and Naya Rivera on Glee. Did you read what she said in her book? Well, in her book, she was actually saying their feud was overblown. By Leah, yeah. that Leah was super sensitive. By Leah, that Leah had overblown it, exactly. Yeah. I mean, they... Uh, I don't know, the room. That the, whole book the was, rumors, was a really big, was a big tell off. Well, the rumors. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of topics. <laughs> the rumors coming from Glee were always that Leah and Michelle had That'd lots be. of issues with lots of people. And the characters in the show were friends, correct? Yeah, I mean, there were some non -friends, Yeah, I think she also like, said that she couldn't separate like the show reality from actual reality. She was losing her mind. That's what uh, Naya said about Leah. Oh. oh. That's, that's a lot to put out there. In a mm. word. Mm. Charlie Sheen and Selma Blair on anger management. Things got so bad that he got her fired. What's crazy is like, FX was like, hey, this is the guy in the middle of like, a total midlife crisis slash drug fueled rage. Let's give him a show. I, <laughs> man, that's crazy. That's awesome. They're like two and a half men yeah. killed his character yeah. because he was so crazy. Let's give him. Let's make him the lead. And, and uh, oh, he has a problem with someone. Get rid Kill of him. We gotta keep this <laughs> yeah. crazy train going. Someone was cashing in. Bam. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Mariah Carey and Nicki Minaj worked together as judges on American Idol, and things got pretty ugly for a while there. Do you guys remember this? But can I make? Oh, darling, darling. Yeah. Like uh, I got what Nicki was saying. Don't critique people on their on their work. You know, country music and all that. But. Uh, you know, is that what Nicki Minaj was saying? I feel like they're like, you know, they're divas. Not, not divas, but like, yeah. they're like queens, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got like two people who are like just two yeah. big powerhouses. The second that they get in the room, they have total different opinions. They're gonna clash. Yep. Uh, uh, Nicki, I thought would have been a little more aggressive, but her walking out was um, definitely uh, very classy. Yeah. Uh, Grey's Anatomy's Isaiah Washington and T.R. Knight had a very public falling out. That show had a lot of cast feud rumors, am I right? Yeah, Isaiah Washington was fired for this feud, if I recall correctly. Oh, they wow. said a bunch of homopho homophobic slurs to T.R. Knight. Seriously? No, I did not call T.R. a faggot. It never happened. <laughs> no yeah. one was having it. It yeah, was just, no. yeah, it was not appropriate. Finally, and this one will definitely go down in history under most memorable cast feuds. The Good Wife, anyone? Juliana Margulies and Archie Panjabi, that green screen final combo? Oh my gosh. Tell I us what happened. watched all of The Good Wife. I love that show. Both of the actresses basically had this huge feud with each other while they were filming, and Juliana Margulies, I think, did not want to be in any scenes with Archie Punjabi, and so they just had separate storylines the whole entire time, but for the final episode, they needed to be in a scene together, 
And so Juliana said, I'll do it if we green screen me wow. in. Wow. And so the two characters are talking, but the actors like, were that's never a whole that's new, new yeah. 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 That's a whole yeah. new that's level of petty. No. That's, that's so, so petty. <laughs> really is. I mean, um, what not did out. Archie say to her that or made her be I, like, I, I don't green screen? Uh, like, that's, what could be that bad? That you can't have one final scene on the and show that were, made you both yeah. all the money and fame. All the, you're supposed to act like you like the person. Can we just pull it together? I, I know, act. for one scene. It would have been an interesting scene to see like the yeah, real they, energy yeah, underneath. I want to know how this feud started. I know. We'll never know. I, you, never you know, know. Probably some. I don't know. Can you ever know? No. Past feuds are inevitable. It happens. You know what else just happens? TV shows so stylish that they become iconic in TV history. We'll get to that after the break. Up next, these shows have made a huge impact in the fashion scene, and later the most memorable TV character departures. Subscribe to the digital edition of Popstar Magazine for free. Check out popstaronline.com for all the latest celebrity news, what's hot and what's not in fashion trends, and exclusive interviews with your favorite stars. Popstaronline.com. And we're back. One of today's hottest shows is Empire. Yes. Love that show, so glad it's been renewed. And I am obsessed with the outfits. They're all so glam and just so effortlessly oozing with style, don't you think? Yeah. Cookie be popping. Shows. Cookie has Cookie. great style. Cookie be popping. I mean, oh, really. Taraji P. Henderson. She looks good. I'm not gonna lie, uh, I definitely would steal a couple wardrobes off of that bad boy if I could. Off that show? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, casting directors, if you wanna go ahead and throw some wardrobes my way. <laughs> wardrobe, casting directors, throw <laughs> wardrobes. Different departments, whole <laughs> different departments. <laughs> the same goal, give Jabrizi some clothes. Yeah, give me flashy clothes. Let's go. <laughs> Once in a while, a show is born that becomes iconic because how much it influences style trends. I mean, the OC, anyone? Marissa and Summer wore the trendiest, most awesome outfits. Did you totally covet their closets too? I think it's one of those things where you did covet it at the time because it was very current and trendy, right. but looking back at it, you're like, uh. Ooh. Mm, yeah, you can keep that. <laughs> the OC was all about that though. They were setting music trends, yeah. clothing trends. Drama trends, Drama. you know. Way before the OC, there was another teen show about the young, hot, and rich wearing outfits that had everyone obsessed. Beverly Hills 90210, the OG show, although the remake also had some pretty style and stuff. I really enjoyed the remake. Yeah. It was so just entertaining, crazy, mm. silly at times, That's but that was it's just an enjoyable show. You just have fun watching. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now suits. Yes, men look so dapper in their suits, the and the ladies rock their super chic, oh. super sexy workwear. Rachel and Donna and Jessica's outfits, seriously. Meghan Markle sizzled in her pencil skirt. Mm. Prince Harry saw that show and he was like, he, was like, he claims ah. he never saw it. Okay, when, uh, sure. Before he started dating her. Mm -hmm. But fun. who knows? I mean, look, it's office attire. It's <laughs> 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 right. yeah. be so cool. Yeah, how cool can it be? <laughs> it's called fluorescent suits. lights. <laughs> and Taylor Loft suits. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sex in the City is as iconic as it gets from Carrie's tutu in the opening credits to their Manolo Blahniks and flower brooches and everything in between. That was a show that just gave birth to a lot of fashion trends. Yeah. The clothes in that show are wild. Like some of them are legitimately the wildest outfits I've ever seen, but somehow yes. they kind of yeah. work. No, a lot of it works real well. Not all of it though. She does wear those flower brooches. Uh, she wears like oh, yeah, giant flower like pins that yeah. just look absurd. Yeah. <laughs> she also wore a lot of, there was a lot of midriff, midriff. For, oh, yeah. for Carrie Bradshaw. Yeah. yeah. She was I like a 90s hip hop. The queen. lead um, costume designer on that show was Patricia Field, who's very iconic New York yeah. like designer and everything. And they had wanted to kind of retire the whole big flower thing, because that was kind of Carrie's thing for a while. Right. So they stopped her wearing that, but then when they made the movie, They're like, like the first shot is it. her with like a huge <laughs> uh, flower because it was like Carrie's back. I really didn't like those, but that show was yeah. set in fashion trends. 
Oh, like right and left, and they do look amazing so, in it. Yeah. I guess it makes sense if they had a little trend-setting designer as the, you know, she's a specialist. She's a blogger. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 but behind, behind, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, mean, the costume. Yeah, I think yeah. there's yeah. even an episode where Carrie gets a new pair of Manolos, and mm -hmm. she goes over to her friend's party, and it's one of those houses where they're like, please take your shoes off before <laughs> coming in. And, and she's someone... like, but they're new. <laughs> and so she takes them off, and someone takes oh, her takes, shoes. Yep. Uh, Love that episode. Yep, <laughs> she's like, they were $800. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Super stylish shows will never go out of style, neither will cast members departing from our fave shows. The most memorable character departures, that's coming up next. Up next, TV stars and their unforgettable show exits. And later, which one of your favorite shows have been uncanceled? You've read the magazine, now plug into the music you love and the news you can't live without on Popstar Radio. Listen worldwide wherever you go. Download the app or go to popstaronline.com. And we're back. Like it or not, cast departures are something that most shows encounter for one reason or another. Let's take a peek at some of the most epic character send-offs. First up, Vampire Diaries. How did you find Nina Dobrov's exit? This was didn't a she played Elena. Well, didn't Elena. didn't she have to leave because no, the, she, the breakup that she happened? She didn't have to leave. Okay. Didn't she choose to? Whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay, here's the thing. The entire series was about her. You know what I mean? Right. And like her relationship right. with between these two vampire, vampire, vampire yeah. brothers, right? So when she was actually dating Ian Summerholder in yeah. real life, right? And then they broke up, he dated her best friend, whatever, it happens. Whoa. You know what I mean? And uh, so then she left for two seasons, only came back for like the last episode of the yeah, final season. to like finish it off. But she, but, but I get it, she wanted to leave because she was like, I'm working with the man who yeah. shattered my heart. Yeah, right. no, you know And got like, together right? with my I best do. friend, yeah. I don't yeah. think I could work in that situation either. And like I need to- It was hard as a fan, okay? Right. I don't really, I'm not talking about her personal life. Right, it's hard. <laughs> It's hard, it's hard when a character leaves a show yeah. and then for the show. You, you're like, you are the show. It's How, like, uh, it, it's what kind like, of show like, is this? We have a Superman show and it's like, oh no, Clark Kent, he's not showing up anymore. Okay. Yeah, no, what's the <laughs> show? Did you, did you still watch no, the was, show? Yeah, I had to because I'm in, like I'm four seasons deep. You <laughs> know what I mean? You're not gonna just. It was like that last <laughs> season or two of The Office when right. Michael Scott's yeah. not there. It's like, this isn't the show. And earlier this year, Carl on The Walking Dead, the story of how they let Chandler Riggs go, that was sad. And killing him off? Uh, also, Glenn, The Walking Dead, has had a lot of character exits. But those two recent ones still hurt. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Glenn, Glenn died seasons ago. Mm -hmm. I'm currently one season behind on The Walking Dead, and I'm just finding out they killed oh. Carl. Oh yeah, oh, they killed Carl. Well, Carl's a big deal because Carl's a huge deal. Well, so here's the thing: so Carl's still in the comic books, like alive and well, everything's fine. But I guess they wanted to go a little bit different from the comic books. But they told the actor that he would be in well into like his 18. I mean, he's made it. He's right? made so it a he long made, time. Like life decisions though, where he's uh, like, oh, I'm you know getting out of getting I'm a not, house. I'm not Atlanta. gonna pick college. Yeah, like I'm not gonna. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so then his parents started like this huge petition to try and get him back or something. It was just weird. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You, I mean, that's that's hard, but that's also. I mean, you kind of just gotta take it's, the time. on the You're Walking Dead. You gotta show. know gonna die. who might yeah. die. Yeah. yeah, that's their whole show. I guess the showrunner. Uh, had told him though that he was gonna be fine. He'd still be on the show, which but is kind of weird. When when they killed Glenn, it was one of the most traumatic episodes of television I've ever watched. I'm not kidding. That episode is set up where all of the leads have zero power and zero agency, and the whole episode is this slow build to uh, Negan murdering Glenn with a baseball bat. The eyeball. It's, it's so gruesome. It's gruesome. <laughs> it's yeah, that show's Rapid. gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> Once upon a time made headlines when they decided not to bring back Snow White. Prince Charming, young Henry, and of course Emma Swan, those characters and actors were there from the very beginning and removing them just left a huge hole in the shows, right? I mean, that show is also like The Walking Dead. Not yeah. zombies, but they change yeah. characters a lot. Are you not gonna bring back Snow White? <laughs> That's she ate an apple. She's she asleep. Died. And Isn't she the died this time. She's like based That's around her. On her. Yeah. But you know what? Things change, you know? It's a magical place 
I'm sure more characters are yeah. pop, pop, pop. Jiminy out. Cricket's pop ready. <laughs> Lastly, we have the heartbreaking case of Corey Monteith. Glee uh. had to deal with his death, and they did by doing a super emotional episode about his character Finn's death and the cast grieving. Did you think they handled it well? I cried buckets. I think it's super hard to navigate something like that. Yeah. And for them to handle it the way they did, it definitely took a lot of thought. And uh, it, I think they definitely did their best effort. Yeah, and it must be really sad having to deal with that on a personal level, but then also having to figure out the characters. Character, yeah. Dealing with it Dealing too. With yeah, sure. I feel like, like Lee too. Yeah, so it must be really. Like, yeah. From characters who had to leave to shows that somehow made a comeback, uncanceled shows coming up when we return. Coming up next, these TV series have successfully made comebacks after being canceled. Looking for the latest in celebrity news, summer, fashion trends, and the hottest events in town? Be sure to get your copy of Popstar Magazine out now. And we're back. <laughs> One of the biggest news in TV land recently was the uncancellation of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yeah. When Fox announced that it was canceling the show, the reaction was overwhelming, and then NBC decided to pick it up. That was a roller coaster of emotions there, right? Yeah. I love yeah. it. This is amazing. It originally started on NBC, right? No, NBC Fox. made it. Right. NBC produces it, but it's always right. been on Fox. Fox. And NBC no, was like, we, we got you, because Fox. I love how he like right. the place. Yeah. It was what, like 24 hours yes. on Twitter? It was just Fans like were freaking madness. out. Hundreds of thousands of people like, bring it back, bring it back. Because it's, it's, it's amazing funny. the power of the people, right? Yes. And their opinions yeah. to just go ahead and yes. be able to like, you know, revamp something. Well, and also for them to listen to it yeah. and well, bring it cool. back. Well, it's crazy really because cool. now, I mean, social media makes instant feedback. Like all the times these producers and studios have to like guess with their Nielsen rating. Yeah, or, like, right. yeah. ah, I guess it's time to cancel it, but now they can get instant feedback right. from millions right. of people going like, I, I want to watch it. Right. Like, I'll watch it. I'll give you my money. Yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> like, I got like three box sets. got renewed, and it's like, yeah. That one, that one could end, though. That could end. It's been 20 Uncancellation seasons. is a not-too-common phenomenon that sometimes happens, leaving us grateful for our faves getting a second chance at life. Timeless is another one, canceled after one season by NBC, and then uncanceled due to overwhelming fan outcry. My vote is cancel that one. <laughs> I've not heard of Timeless. Sorry. Ooh. No, time. anytime you make time travel a key oh. essential point of your reality yeah. in the show, it's there's just tough. too many loopholes. I'm like, none of this makes sense. My parents love that show. They watch it all the time. But I mean, every time I watched it, I was honestly pretty bored. <laughs> <laughs> time travel makes me, I just get real confused. It, the there's quantum no mechanics, clear rules. Uh, quantum mechanics yeah. of it all, uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, the time flux handle. continuum, right. yeah. the time space uh, mod. Those yeah. mod. <laughs> sure. I just stopped. Two halfway. iconic animated shows were also resurrected: Family Guy and Futurama, and they lived on for a lot more seasons. Could you guys imagine if they weren't uncancelled? Could you imagine? Yeah. yeah family Guy. Actually, yeah. Really? I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. I mean, the world would just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> I really love Family Guy, though. Yeah. It's, it's family super great. Yeah. I'm surprised that it was cancelled in the first place. Yeah. It's like, it, I didn't like, even know it was cancelled. I, I, I was to. like, I just thought it'd been on the air this whole yeah. time. Yeah. Family Guy was like one of those. They killed Brian. It broke my heart. Oh, yeah. Wait, they killed Brian. They killed the character. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, the dog had to die. The next episode. What happened? It's wow. a cartoon, so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How old was he in dog years? Oh, very old. Oh my god. Really uh, I'm glad they brought Futurama back. Futurama's. So, an what do you think? Show. Don't you think shows should end at a certain point? Yes. Shouldn't things have endings? Yes. No. Like The Simpsons have been on for. No. I yeah. love The Simpsons. No. No. no this has been end. 25 years. I, no. I'm with you. Yeah, it give us, wrap it, it up. Like, this wrap it up. There should be TV shows on air that last all day. What if we just talked? Endlessly. That would be amazing. Would be, okay, yeah, what about this subject here? Really no, I agree. Podcast. Shows, <laughs> sometimes you're watching a show and you're like, this is just still, like, yeah. wrap up the world. Okay, wait. Yeah, just with people the binge even. watch on, on Netflix, though. Let's, like, yeah. let's think about this. So if a show was to go, like, I think, 
The way that people binge watch stuff on Netflix makes me think like, yeah, they probably shouldn't have endings because this would be a very dedicated fan base if you watch through like, let's say figuratively, 100 seasons. Yeah, of that's it. it needs whatever to show you love. Well, shows are getting shorter and shorter seasons now, yeah, which I, I actually I'm like. A I'm a fan of the short season. I think I can't do 22 episodes lines. now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that you can really you can make focus it more on. concentrated. Mm -hmm. yeah. Southland was canceled after one season on NBC, and then TNT swooped in, giving the show another four amazing seasons. I think that's kind of cool when something gets canceled by one network and another network. network's like, yeah. no, we we got the, we got the demographic after for this. one season. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like it. <laughs> that's yeah. a roller coaster for the cast and crew and creators of that, where you're like, oh, we're canceled. We're not coming back. I'm unemployed. We're picked <laughs> up. <laughs> Seventh Heaven was canceled after ten seasons by the WB as it was transitioning to the CW, and then promptly renewed for season eleven by the CW. That was kind of bizarre. That's weird. I think they just didn't know what their programming was right. going to be. They're just like, yeah, let's cancel everything. And then, okay, no, we like that one. Come I, back. I don't want to bring this up, but Seventh Heaven should never be brought up anymore because the father of the the amazing family, what? you know, he got like arrested for for being a pedophile. Oh, oh no. yeah. Did the father. Played, what was the, what was the reverend? He, he, he played a, 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 a pat. Yeah. That's, oh wow, wrong role to he play. He played a yeah. pre, maybe like he the got most holy, really into holistic, holistic, holy holistic, the most wholesome father. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. And let's not forget Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Five Let's seasons not on the WB, which ended with Buffy's tombstone. And then UPN comes in and Buffy lives again, literally. Thoughts on the turn of events? It's just, it love ends. that we got seven seasons instead of just five. <laughs> Neil's excited about this one. You see, yeah. it ended, so just let it let it be. Let it bad. end. Why are you trying to bring it back with all You're your later. wizardry and whatever? <laughs> wizardry. Just it it the story is done, they ended it nicely. Let it, let it, let it, be let it die. Let it money die. to be made, Neil. See, this is Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood. Okay. There's money to be made. Come on. He's got sacks with dollar bills on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm on that. I'm on uh, the side he doesn't like just to be on that side. Do it. All right. All right. So let's bring back some more seasons of some other shows. Let's do a season six. Nah. Um, guys, any other faves <laughs> uncancelled? I think Mindy Project had moved yeah, to, to Hulu, Hulu, Hulu that's right. after Fox. I think it was Fox. Yeah. Didn't pick it up. That's a more modern. That's like a newer thing. It's crazy, like for it to jump networks. Yeah. But I'm so Could happy online, it happens. Too. I think it's yeah. good. I think it's good for fans yeah. who really are staying with the show and just like need more of it. Right. At least, you know, I think it's smart of other, you know, other places to Yeah, to, to take advantage yeah. of it. There's yeah. viewers yeah. out there ready to watch. Yeah. At the end of the day, people are not like, oh, I only watch NBC shows. No. Like, you know what I mean? Like, people are people watch everywhere. To, like, people, not necessarily to like the network. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. And you know that Supergirl was another show that jumped networks. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. it was originally canceled and then did another one. CBS to CW oh. or yeah, something. CBS yeah. to CW. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. Just hopping. Just hopping. I'm just surprised hopping. it was on hopping. CW hopping. the entire time because that's how it's a very all, all the other. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, that's also where all I think the that's the what DC they realized. Shows are. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. 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 All right, guys. Sadly, Found that's home. about all the time we got for now. What? Oh, man. What? Everyone. Special thanks. Are we Dawson, canceled? Devin Workheim. Are we canceled? We got uncanceled. Sheridan oh. Pierce. Hey. Oh. Hey. Jabrizi. Hey, hey right, Jabrizi. Noah Matthews. And no easy. Neil Bring us back. The ghost. And you're back. watching Popstar this week. <laughs>